On this Retro Combs Fast Load, I take a look at the first of four retro gaming handheld consoles. These videos are not full reviews, but rather provide the visuals for a companion blog post. The blog post contains much more information, so please be sure to check it out if you are interested in purchasing one of these devices. I'm really uh, enamored with handhelds. Here is my Retro Flag G Pi case. Uh, it's a great little device. As a matter of fact, this will be a benchmark that we will use throughout this video. But inside here is a Raspberry Pi Zero W. You plug that into the back here and you turn it on here as I showed in the introduction video and you can play all kinds of great retro games, including those retro games found on classic computers such as the Commodore, Spectrum NX, or ZX Spectrum, uh, and all kinds of Atari uh, consoles. So it's a great little device. You can get just an infinite number of games on here. It is powered by some rechargeables here. I've got some IKEA LADA rechargeables in here, but you can use obviously regular. Uh, there's also a port on the back here for doing some upgrades via USB. There is also on the side here, we have another power supply if you would like to use a separate power supply. And here we have some addition, in addition to these controllers on the front, we have some shoulder buttons here that you can use for games that require shoulder buttons. So generally it's a pretty good experience. I really like it. It's probably my go-to take it on the road retro gaming device. Uh, this form factor is really hard for me though. I've never been a fan of this Game Boy form factor because it just hurts my fingers. That's kind of a reference device I want to talk about. I, on Amazon Prime Day in 2021, just recently, decided I want to try out some additional handheld devices that play games. And I had a little Amazon credits available thanks to all the viewers out there who have been using my Amazon affiliate links. I decided to give four of them a try. The first one was the Great Boy Portable. This next one was the Fate Fan Retro. The next one was this handheld game by Link4. And then finally, this one from Tremu, I believe, handheld. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at each of those and see kind of how do they compare against this device. So we've got a little box here full of all four of those devices. I will say it took me about the entire length of Amazon Prime Day to figure out which one of these I was going to purchase because there are hundreds of these things. So what I'm going to do is open the box on the first one today and then I'll follow up in subsequent fast loads with these other models. So let's get started opening the box on the first one, but let's see what we got in the box in general. So let's kind of move in here. So these are all the boxes. What's tough is, I'm not even sure we can tell which ones are which just by the box. Let's see, so here's the first one. So this is the Retro Pocket Station 501. This is the Link 4, if we look at that. So that is the first one out of the box, the Link 4 right there. So we'll go ahead and set that aside. Next one we'll pull out. Let's pull out this other one that's gonna look a lot pretty similar to that one. Here we go. So this one's a little bit easier to figure out. So this is the Fate Fan. Um, and I think I got this not in, yes, here we go. I got this in the green color, not the red, black, or the blue. So that'll be one we'll be taking a look at. And you can see the box on that. And there's our additional controller that comes with that. We'll take a look at that a little bit later. We'll set that one aside. The next one we have in the box is this one right here. And this is the, oh gee, it loves me. Look, I love you. I love you too. Little game, handheld game console. Great for your children, but adults will love it too. So I'm not sure if the box is designed to kind of appeal to you giving this to a child and saying, hey, join some retro gaming because you know what? I love you. So this one's a little bit harder to figure out. There's only two left, three and a half inch screen. So this one should be the Great Boy because that's the only one with the three and a half inch screen. So that's the first one we're going to be looking at today. So let's go ahead and set that aside over here. That's a good one. And then finally, we have in the box this device which is the pow kitty and that one is depending on where you buy it it's a pow kitty but it may be uh, also identified as a tree mew i think is the one i have but pow kitty is the uh, standard name that you'll find a lot of 
uh, seller selling us that pretty cheap box but actually this is one of the ones I'm most interested in and this will be the last one we actually plug in this has got some really neat features that we'll talk about when we get there so that is the quick open the box on the Amazon Prime Day purchase and now this is the first one we're going to open so let's go ahead and get started and see what we get with our first retro handheld gaming console box and here's the specifications quickly if you want to read those great boy portable handheld games for kids preloaded 380 classic retro games with three and a half inch big color display and gamepad rechargeable arcade system if you're curious as to what the regular cost is got a great companion blog post for this entire series it's a single page for all four videos so be sure and check that out you'll find all the information for that down in the description below and probably there's probably a scrawl across the bottom here if I know me in my video editing so let's open the box on this first one the great boy portable okay with the tape open finally and we see this is this is really a cheap box we've got a cheap plastic holder inside oh, of course things bouncing and falling off the bottom so let me go ahead and set that aside here here let me make sure you all know I love you too so let's keep that here so in the box and we'll save the console for last here we have a card with some input. It's a surprise gift for me. Thank you for purchasing our products to express our gratitude. We have prepared a beautiful gift for you. You only need to scan this. A commission of $5. We will be transferred to your PayPal. I, I don't know if I'll do that or not. But uh, here's our warranty description. This does include, wow, this is one cheap little controller but I'm kind of intrigued and it is a micro USB controller but this will allow this particular device for uh, to plug in and let two people play on these small screens this one does include a cable so that you can plug it in and play it on your larger TV and then finally looks like we have standard USB for charging no wall wart included got everything we need in the user's manual here a little pull out here you know it's not a horrible joystick it's just tiny I digress what's on the back of this thing uh, hook up to the TV here's some specifications so there's that now let's get to the actual unit itself this is what everybody everybody wants to see so let's pull this out pretty light I will say that doesn't feel like it's substantial that's for sure uh, but you can see we've got some decent it's got a decent look on it I do I think I'm gonna like this form factor better because it doesn't push everything close and you're kind of I like I like the way this feels uh, is this a yes let's go ahead and pull off the screen here let's see what we have here if we open the back looks like there's our battery does that just pop out oh yeah it's a standard lithium-ion battery so you could uh, in effect have a few of these because these are pretty easy to find you could you could purchase a couple of these have them all charged up for a long trip here's a, obviously our speaker we'll find out what that sounds like it's got our regular joystick buttons but it's also got this kind of a directional cursor as well that will be great for specific games I'm sure and of course here's that return button across the top here we have micro USB we have this is a scroll wheel here's a headphone jack but there you go there's the on off switch right there turn it on hopefully we've got enough battery life in here I didn't get a chance to fully charge it okay wow that's loud <laughs> let's go ahead and turn that down a little bit there we go volume controls are working you know what that screen is not bad let me show you what I was pushing here if I can remember I'm going to choose this button right here choose English and uh, you've seen a couple of games let's go ahead and here's the page over so again you can scroll down one on one or you can page over which makes it a little bit easier I want to see if this is actually the 1942 and I'm gonna hit this button again to select it this is 1942 this is uh, one of my favorite games from back in the day all right well I can get tied up playing this let's take a look at a couple other things so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit this button to reset that'll take us back to the beginning now unfortunately that's the only way I found to do that let's check out one or two more things and then we're gonna open this thing up and see what we have inside so let's try one more game Oh, there's a rachnoid that's always fun let's give that a shot I'm kind of curious again uh, not a bad screen it is again light but gosh it is compact portable it's not just a bad device and again it's got a good selection of games so let's move this up a little bit closer the era of time control so that's better than this actually so yeah that's much better 
<laughs> I lost, but it was much better, trust me. I'm going to try pinball or uh, like recreations of games. These are look to be real ROMs. Sure, they're not licensed, uh, but, you know, that seems to be the way it is. And here's pinball for us. Not sure how this works. So, again, with no instructions, some of these are going to be a challenge trying to figure out what you do. There we go. Okay, now we'll pull back our... Oh, there, now we're working. Oh, now that just got stuck. What's that about? Let's see. Hold this back. There we go. And boom. I only have one controller working. That's could be an issue. It's not a hardware issue because everything else has been working. It's an emulation issue. Unless, Oh, there we go. Well, that's weird. So I have to hit this over here and well that's not actually when you think about it that's not bad because I could do this and this and that works for pinball. So again just kind of play around figure it out and see see what you have. What I want to do now is see if we can take a look inside and see what's inside uh, and what's powering this little guy without tearing it up. So we'll do that next. All right we moved over to the workbench here and uh, this is the device we are looking at, we're going to open it up and see what's inside. What makes this thing tick? First thing we'll do is get our battery out of there. Looks like pretty standard. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll go ahead and get those opened up. Right tool for the right job. All right. Let's see if I can pull this up here. Without. Let's see if I can just pop this speaker out without damaging anything. There we go. That was easy enough. So not really uh, glued or anything. That's actually kind of nice. So I'm going to set the back aside here. Now the next thing we have is, looks like the circuit board is screwed in here, 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 and here. Okay, I'm going to be very careful because I don't know what I'm going to have to look forward to underneath. This is directional right here, and you can see that it moves and just pushes these, these buttons, make the contacts with here and push those. So these are just our regular push buttons here. Pretty nice. Easy, standard. Screen is uh, pretty clear. I have to make sure and clean that before I put it back together. That way I don't have fingerprints on the inside. So we'll set that aside. Uh, and here's the screen that we have here. The screen has is over everything else, which is to be expected. I don't think, yeah, I can take that screen off. It's a standard plug you can see there. So if I want to release that, I could move those. I am not going to do that though. I kind of want to use this and that's that ribbon could be pretty uh, finicky trying to get back at, get that back in. So let's go ahead and unfold back this way and see what we have inside. got our processor boy there's not a lot in here this is everything is all on this one chip right here looks like STX0 X06 version 2 but I'll try and find some information on that chip and put it in the companion blog post so that you know what we're dealing with everything else is just supplemental and supportive components but everything we need is right on there that's kind of what's on the inside it's a pretty simple device now uh, put this back on this kind of header here that keeps it equidistant on both sides. Now we're going to see if I can get this thing back together and playing again. Add this and cross your fingers. Perfect. Looks like everything's working perfectly, which is great. Let's go ahead and uh, move through this. And uh, so, uh, what do I think about the device? Well, you've heard some initial comments. However, I'm going to save that because we've got three other devices 
to check out from my open the box for my Amazon Prime Day. And I'm going to be using this as the benchmark, the Retro Flag G Pi case. I can already tell you a uh, larger screen, but we'll of course come back to that. I will tell you that in the companion blog post, there will be a table that includes all of the features of all these devices so that you can compare it. Be sure and check that out. It's basically just a Google sheet that I've embedded, but I'll keep updating it as I go. But we're going to find out, can this compete with this in the final video in this open the box or unbox series on these portable handheld gaming devices. So for now, I think I'm going to put the retro flag GPI case to the side, find a fun game to play such as Pac-Man and leave it with you. So I hope you enjoyed this quick fast load as I look at handheld retro gaming devices at this time, as I like to say, Retrocombs out.